when I would hand a team over to the coaches for preseason, the team average heart rate recovery was 32 beats per minute, okay? We aspire for 40. By the time we got into conference play, we were at 40 beats per minute team average, which was good. How did I test that? Because I'm certainly not gonna run a max effort conditioning test in the middle of the season. The coach would kill me if I did that. But I would be present at the facilities. I was using Polar Team Pro in their system, but you could use the Polar Club, which is free. You could be there and you can watch the athletes during a heavy match play. Maybe they're doing a squat, inner squad scrimmage. Those days were like light bulbs for me. I wanted to be able to see athletes get to near max load. I already know they're gonna hit 95% of their max heart rate. That's a good enough test for me. And then when they stop play, I wanna sit there and watch individual athletes and see how their heart rate reduced. That's how I was able to be able to say, you got them at 30 through a tested environment with average 32 beats recovery in a minute. How do I test them in season and making sure we're going along that right path? That's how I did that. Okay, I can't be present, no problem. You can look at stoppage of play when something's happening. You can see that recovery in terms of that heart rate. And so that's what we use with our athletes. And one, we use it in conditioning, and then we're able to see it in practice as well too and, and use those benchmarks to know that we are truly developing the athlete's energy system. And uh, that's a hard thing to do sometimes with conditioning. You know, it's not like uh, a squat. Are you, are you stronger? Sure, look how much more I'm lifting. And am I, am I faster? Sure, look at, my, look at my agility time, look at my 10, look at my 40 time, like my three quarter fourth sprint time. Am I, am I jumping higher? Sure, look how much more my vertical is now. Are you in better shape? Well, I passed this arbitrary time on this arbitrary test with really no true reflection of where was my level of fitness at. And this allows you to systematically plot those points along the way and it, it gives that feedback to the coach, to you, but also the athlete. There's where you get, they, they gotta buy into what you're doing too. When they see that and they experience that, you, you got total buy-in.